Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to have a really quick tutorial on showing you how to stretch your canvas. This is very useful if you're trying to avoid having to clone and you have a large section in your photo you want to be covering up. And oftentimes you'll think cropping is a good idea, but sometimes you won't like the crop and want to use your whole area that you have on your canvas. So I'm going to show you how to stretch it. Here's what we're going to do. I have a really amazing photo today taken here by Earl Blessings, who is working right now in the United Arab Emirates. And he took this photo, and I've been doing Photoshop training with him. So we took this photo from this to this as the finished product using the Quickie Collection. And then our only obstacle was this pole right here in the foreground. And of course, a quick 8x10 crop, if we use the crop tool and cropped 8x10, would have that gone in a moment if we just did that. So that would be great, but you know, everything's very centered then. It doesn't have quite the line it had before with the um, 4 by 6 aspect ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can deal with this in a very, very quick, efficient manner. We're going to go ahead and use the marquee tool, which is this tool right here, the rectangular marquee. Make sure you do not have a feather set on it. And we're going to go ahead and select an area that we're going to be stretching. So we're going to pick this nice area right here. And then you're going to use Command or Control, the letter T, depending if you're on a PC or Mac, and come in with this middle um, marker on your little, where all the little dots are, this middle one, and you're literally going to drag it over that other area and click the check mark at the top. Once you've done that, you'll see there it's seamless. There is no mark. All it's done is it's stretched out that area that you selected. So yes, there is some distortion in what you stretched, but oftentimes, especially with architecture and landscapes, you will not notice much difference, if at all. And so there, there you have it, a very easy way to be able to keep this aspect ratio of 4 by 6 that we have and that we liked, and just stretch over that pole so it's gone. Way, way easier than cloning if you're able to do it on a particular picture. Hopefully you learned a lot from this lesson. I know it was a quick one. Join me at mcpactions.com and mcpactions.com slash blog for more video tips and tutorials. Thank you very much, and I'll talk with you soon.